All right, partners, I do believe it's time we get started. Yeah, hello, everybody. We are checking out West of Loathing today. Uh, it's a game I've talked about a couple of times when I've been uh, streaming other games. Uh, I've really wanted to try this game out. I don't know uh, much about it. I've watched a couple people play it like the start of it and I went I want that game really bad and then I didn't watch anything else uh, the premise of this game is it is an RPG text based uh, turn based RPG text based wild west simulator and uh, it's all comedy orientated Wanted for protagonizing Ruth Pickett. Can I? Oh, I can just change stuff about this. Alright. Uh... Alright. Oh, so there's... Okay. All right. Well, let's get this going. Play as Gertaeus Lich. Ready to get going, are you? Hell yeah, I am. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Cow puncher, snake oiler, or bean slinger. I don't know what any of these mean. <laughs> I kinda wanna go snake oiler. Cause that seems like it might be fun. I don't know what any of these mean. Alright. I'm <laughs> I, I guess I'm gonna do snake. Be a snake oiler. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpa to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to extract potent oils from these snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs a potion and hope in these dark days and also out west is where all the best snakes live. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try Snake Oiler. Okay. Goodbye, bed. Oh, what did you say? No, hold on. Goodbye, bed. Time to head west to chase my real dreams. Comb hair. Oh! Neat. Hi, Mr. Bird. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Ka! Gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw. Feed Russell a cricket. Uh, you grab a cricket from the cricket bag and feed Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Goodbye, Russell. Actually, maybe it's time for you to go too, buddy. He winks at you. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, and then flies away to the west. It's time to hit the trail. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's the... Oh, wait, can I turn that... Let's turn the music back on. Uh, you read the spine of one of your books. The Treasure of the Terrible Ship. Jane Danger and the Eerie Citadel. 
Otis Smith and the Cursed Mansion. Dan Bobsby and the Spooky Cabin. Ethan Brown and Old Tower. Gladys Bobsby and the Secret of the Haunted Warehouse. Oh, this one might come in handy. Walking Stupid. Oh, what is that? You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupid. Has been added to your option menus. Alright. You actually drop the book and ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you tried to pick it up. Oops. Okay, I know what kind of game this is going to be already. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't look that stupid. Oh, did I turn her off? Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Alright, so we'll leave that on for now. Oh my god. Alright. I think we've done everything to do in the bedroom. You can, because I didn't turn the record player off, I think you can, hold on. <laughs> I kind of like that though. Alright. Nothing on the hat rack today. What a mess. Stack the firewood. Gonna miss mom's cooking. Gonna miss meals with the family. It's mom's Pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. <laughs> you know, thinking about it, I could probably use a pie safe. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. An investigation of the laws of thought in which are founded by the mathematical theories of logic and probability. I think it's about math. Maybe. <laughs> pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uh, Philosophy, Naturalis Principia, Mathematica. <laughs> Pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through. It's Uber Di... <sighs> Uber Di Darstelle Barricht in der Funktion durch ein Trigonometrisch Reich. I think that's just math words in German. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just math words in German. Oh, we got a puzzle cube. Neat. Okay, Casey. Uh, Alright, I think that's everything to do inside. I didn't know TC was in this game. <laughs> it's a book about calculus? God damn it. No time to screw around the woods. Time to head west. Oh, I get it. East. West. Yeah, funny. Hi, Mom. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, ma. I'm gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... The one about picking locks, oh boy. The one about desert survival. The one about bartering. I feel like lock picking might be useful. My RPG sense tells me to take the lock picking book. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. I will, Ma. Goodbye. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lips quiver a little bit. Listen. I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Grandmother's? Thank you. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your ma. I did. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> oh my god. It's just like literally falling on his hat. Oh, wait. Is this our brother? 
Uh, your brother Rufus is staring here, standing here, looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Give him his puzzle back. You hand him the puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Rufus, time to head west. Still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know, why are you going west? To seek my fortune, to get off this stupid farm, or to help people? Uh, help people. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west are killed within a year. That's this is from before the cows came home. I'll be alright. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. <laughs> alright. Well, go west. Yeah. Well, I've got to watch the opening cutscenes. Two hundred miles later. Oh, we fell off our cart that was heading west. Well, the bad news is you fell off your cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and when you got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than in a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust yourself off. Ooh, turnip. Hello. Buffaloes, gals, w w uh, ow. Okay, I wonder if that's actually doing like damage to my character. Uh, this is a briefcase to keep your favorite snakes in it. Look inside. Uh, you know what? I'm usually bad at RPGs, so let's extract some medicine. And we'll get one thing of venom. And we'll close the briefcase. How to pick locks. Uh, this book is a comprehensive guide to advanced lock and picking techniques. It's got a whole chapter on tumblers. Read it. You quickly memorize the entire book. Nice. After you're done reading it, you donate to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go. <laughs> okay. Sign on the door says, Gone Drinking. Oh, I just stepped in horse poo. Uh, bar, sheriff, trader. Hello. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt his name is Braid. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading locks or soap and stick a dynamite for a needle. And to be the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake highs, well, to be that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Uh, no trades right now. Wait, how can I? Ow, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, you all right? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. How do yourself? The name's Bill. Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this would happen, but I didn't listen. That's why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just a coincidence. <laughs> oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus? Oh, no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation process inside the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's a mite boring. Yeah, I bet. 
It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything. No, sorry. Well, if you happen to find one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. Okay. Topeka. 60 miles that away. <laughs> You're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? What happened in Topeka? Uh, let's check out the bar. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you. Hey, where's your dag nabbit hat? Can't drink in here without a hat. Taint proper. Points out the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check the box. You look at the box and find a battered derby. It looks like something you wear. Take it. Grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, sir, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitchy, nod. Say, feller. You heading west? If you wanting some company, I'd be more than happy to call in with it. Just let me know. Well, alright. No pressure. Alright, I'll keep it in mind. Oh my god, look at his eyes. <coughs> look at his eyes. I should probably leave him alone. Oh, I need a needle. It's a spittoon. People spit into it, you know, without even looking in. It's without even looking in it. That is absolutely disgusting. Look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting in the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees peering into a filth-encrusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? Get it. You reach your hand towards the spittoon even before you touch it. You can feel the grossness in the air, like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like a vomit trough at a messy, at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup, makes it sound like glop, and your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search. Your fingers make contact with something, you pull your hand out of the devil's tureen, slowly not daring to risk spat splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. The nasty ring. Hooray. What? Oh my god. Though getting this ring was traumatic, you have to admit that it was worth it. Oh, gives plus one to, I assume, yeah, the three stats. Okay. This is going to be an interesting game, I can already tell. These two are playing poker, at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hand to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Uh, you look interesting. Howdy, I'm Gertaeus. Howdy, Gertaeus. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What'd you do? I'm the town hostler. What's a hostler? The town horse-selling guy. Ah. How's that working out for you? Oh, these horses are just flying out the door, so business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Is that why you're here drinking instead? <laughs> hey, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horse is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Um, me neither of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. Alright. Hey. You walk to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you while you're waiting. You see a sign taped at the back wall. Reward for two lost mugs. 25 meat each. Keep waiting. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Gertaeus. What brings you to our little neck of the backwater? Ask about work. Uh, oh, the usual. I came out of the west to make my fortune. Not having much luck, though, so far. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Bone Springs already has many more people in it than jobs. It's more of a errand sort of town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend taking the railroad up to Dirtwater. Uh, Dirtwater. Their water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less the example. 
from the rule of the law, but not so far west has been burned to the ground by the damned cows. Lots of opportunities there. Uh, yep, if I was a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. Uh, railroad. Uh, Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. They're trying to run a line to, Francis to Frisco. Having a heck of a time doing so. And they're hiring. Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one thing or another. Big company, that is. Errands. Uh, yeah, this is for Sigberg. Is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostlers always need help since he hurt his legs. And that no-count sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Alright. Uh, gob moose in the basement, some cow poking from Gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. Alright. Much obliged. I'll take care of it. Interesting. Oh, I slid right in the cow poo. Hey. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Born Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasting sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and they took my cell door with them. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without the door. And I need somebody tough, smart, nor slick to go fetch it back for me. Uh, alright, I'll give it a shot. The Deputy Pistol. Deputy? You deputized a gun? You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but I ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down the Fricker Gang hideout for you. Got it, I'll be back with the door. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh. Well, let's go see the horseman. And I suppose we can see about. Wait, oh, there it is. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away, except for the completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Uh, please, I'd go fetch them myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for finding each other. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. That's pretty much always run to the same places. Uh, Ore Hole Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, and Thousand Snakes Gulch. Look at that, Casey. Why these places? I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed it some of these oats. It should send it back here. Home in oats. <laughs> How does that work? They're special pigeon-infused oats. Alright, we'll do. See you later. <laughs> pigeon-infused oats. And now, uh, the horse. Uh, where do we want to go first? We go heck up the frickers. Uh, go explore the boneyard. Take a peek around the snake gulch or delve into the Orwell hole. Uh, you know what? Let's go check out the gulch. Oh my god, that's a big snake. Oh, hello, what's this? Uh, shiny rock. Uh oh. The snakes look sleepy, but not that sleepy. Alright. Uh, melee. Snake whip. Deploy snake. Uh, deploy snake. Uh oh. Ow. Why? Jerk. Shoot him. Bang! Cool. Alright, so the combat's pretty simplistic. I can dig that. Uh, you have slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murdering Gratis. Yeehaw! Skill up. Glamour level 2. Collect one venom and one medicine. Oh, if I kill snakes as a snake oiler, I actually get stuff from them. Neat. Ooh, 
Oops. Uh, armor so my uh, keyboard just broke off. Give me a second. There we go. Alright, Mr. Steak. Let's have at it. Whoa, they're quick. Oh, he poisoned me, I think. Uh, deploy the snake. Uh-oh. Son of a bitch. Bang. Yeah. Victory. Uh, progress towards next skill up. Collected two venom, two medicine. Uh, did I get anything from that? It said I leveled up before, didn't I? Character. Maybe this is where... Hmm. Maybe not. Oh my god, there are so many snakes. I'm good at tricks. The snakes look really angry. You're gonna need every trick in the book to beat this one. Uh-oh. Uh, let's throw out the snake. When it hits me again, I'll use the snake the uh, health. Snake medicine. And then I'll shoot him. Bang. Uh oh. <laughs> Cutting that a little close. And then bang! Nice work. If the whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you can always get a job as a snake exterminator. Two venom, two medicine. Am I actually getting... No, okay. Oh, I see what's happening when I'm killing them. I'm putting them in my briefcase. Let's get medicine. Take two venom out. Uh. Hey, Mr. Horse. Y you okay? This horse looks like it's gone snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Uh, look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in those glassy thousand-yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now. It's clear you aren't actually out much. <laughs> you aren't actually made of spiders. Pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul. Wherever madness is bounced around in that skull of his. Feed him the oats. Hi, right, hungry boy. I got a little treat for you. You, f you feed the crazy horse some of the home and oats and it gallops away with a whinny or rather a... Would never. Hopefully, he'll head home and not in the twelfth dimension. Weird. Okay. All right. So that's one horse rescued. Uh, you don't have to walk all the way back. Hit M or click the map icon to travel. Oh, neat. Uh, all right. Let's go poke around the bone yard. Our founder, Zephaniah Boren. He was actually a really interesting guy. <laughs> Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. <laughs> oh, it's a mug. Beergrid Skeleton. Captain of the 3rd Cavalry. This grave is really noisy. Uh. Oh. Skeleton, you're not getting past it without a scuffle. Well, a scuffle it is, then. Uh. Snake. <gasps> he hit my snake, how dare you! The bang! Yeehaw, skill up. Glamour level 3. What does Glamour do for me? Oh! Your 
pulse quickens as you get this near the spooky translucent horse. You reverse the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hey, hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? Pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pet her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. One more time. Uh, feed her the oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Burr. Don't. Please don't look at me like that. Pet her on the nose again. Try the oats again. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm just. I'm not sure how to make the oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grip. To grind up bones with grave dirt? Mm, is that a yes? Alright. Add some grave dirt to the bones. You sprinkle the oats with a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes expressionlessly at them, then eats them. And with that, she glides away in the direction of the town. Oh. Alright. Timothy Cochran, devoted husband. Elizabeth Cochran, beloved daughter. Silas Cochran, a baby. What did I get? Oh, the mug. Okay. Uh, alright. Benjamin Crockett. Uh, alright. Let's go to the mine next. See about that third horse. This is definitely does not bear close scrutiny. There's still some meat ore in this cart. Meat ore? Alright. Dig through it. 50 meat. Alright. Hell yeah. Ah! Mug. Haha! -ha, I've got the guy's mugs. Uh, this mechanism is labeled cargo elevator controls. A poster on the wall behind reads blast and cap storage. Plungers, both kinds, tools. Uh, tools. Oh, I don't have a needle, damn it. Uh, blasting cap. Grab one. Nate, it looks like you're gonna need a crowbar to pry open the crates. Heck. Alright, what's on level two? Plungers. Plungers. The sign lied though, there's only one kind. Alright, I got a detonating plunger. Dig through it. You find a disgusting chunk of meat ore. Unrefined meat nugget. Ah, hook up the plunger to it. Uh, this looks dangerous. This blast is kind of we'd be in real trouble. Alright, well. I guess that means we need a crowbar? But we need a needle to open this. Also, the music got really loud all of a sudden. Alright, so we need a needle. We need to find a needle to open the toolbox to, I assume, get a crowbar. Alright. Let's head to the Fricker hideout. Ooh. Uh... <laughs> Third Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. Let's ignore him for now. Harvest requires foraging. Interesting. It's a pile of random stuff. The f it's a pile of random stuff that the Fricker Gang stole. Finders keepers. Twenty-five meat, recovered mug, and a silver pair of cufflinks. 
my weirded though? No. If you wore a fancier shirt, you might have some use for these. Okay. All right, we just gotta sneak on in. All right, so he's asleep on the... They're awake. Mm, Costly approach, approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. Yeah, I'd bind a barrel and need drop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe and that the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. Approach them and talk. The one without the eye patch is an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How did you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. Uh-oh. Uh... Snake. Uh, shoot that man. Get him, Snake. Get him. Get his ass. The leader of the Frick Gangs are dead by hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, though you're not sure how your mother would feel. <laughs> Yeehaw, skill up, muscle level 2. Time to recover the sheriff's store. Oh, mug. Yeah, I'll take it. Pile of Fricker Gang's ill gotten gains. Take it. Let's grab that. <laughs> oh my god. I really love the stupid walk so much. You know. Well, I tied him up. I guess we can kill this one. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar if you assume that it's seven years from now and the idiom makes sense. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. Alright, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. <laughs> like that, how realistically you don't have to fight those two at all. I kind of like that. Uh, let's go back to the town of Boren Springs. Alright, I wanna go turn in. Hey, I got your mugs for you. Howdy, good to see you again, Gertais. Found these mugs. Much obliged. You have covered mugs and collected by me. Thank you. Uh, who's lady drinking whiskey out of a beer <laughs> mug? Oh no. Uh, that's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pester. Why is that? Lost her old family to a cow attack or something. Got some pent up frustration about it. Ouch. Um. I still gotta go fight. Goblin. I don't want to do that yet. I don't... Oh, right in it again. Hey, I got your door back for you. Uh, see, the Fricker gang hasn't put in a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? You hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on his hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here's prison cell is about four times more secure. Are there any Fricker boys left around? Yeah, one or two. They're asleep on the job. I'll go around them up shortly. Looks like I owe you a reward. Got another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Uh, well, the frickers busted the locks when they took the gun, the door. Gonna need a new lock. All right. Bird theft. Naked Mike Bernstein. Help wanted. Wanted poster artist. Apply in person at the Yuma Marshal's office. Bimmy Fricker for face thieving. Four twenty. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> Wait, there's a mug in there. Aha. Hello. 
Howdy. Uh, still don't got any dickering. Hmm. I ain't got no dickering. Hello. Wait, can I go in here? No. Still don't got a book or anything for this guy. Oh, right through the poop. Every time. <laughs> Wait. One, two. <laughs> Wait, did I get all the horses? No, I haven't, because I didn't, I couldn't get the, uh, the needle to get the lock. Alright. Uh, hey, buddy. Who, me? Well, heck, I, I say all kinds of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than a bodongled hop frog could take a message. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. Pete notices a shiny rock you're carrying in his eyes, and his wild eyes light up. That there's a shiny rock you got there, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for that rock. No. Suit yourself. Pete squints and points at the unrefined meat ore. You ain't seen, you ain't seem like someone who's got much use for unrefined ore, stranger. I bought, I'll buy it off you for seventy-three meat. No, not yet. Well, all right then. All right, later, Pete. Weird. He's asleep. They're still. Can I play? Uh. Bet crazily. Puts one of meat on the table, sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two, three, and a king. Eat this. All in sucker sweat gushes from their faces. They each read the how to play poker card again, but eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two threes. The guy on the left has a full-blown house, two jackets, three aces, and the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two through six in the hearts. Horn swoggle them. You explain that the jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 20 points to the gal on the right 20 and you 25 plus a king and the king represents oh hey look over there they look and when they look back they don't notice the 10 meat missing from each of their piles you collect your winnings and stand up they thank you for helping them learn the game <laughs> can i do that again they don't have enough meat left to bother with it looks like they're playing for spiders now <laughs> Uh, howdy. The woman glares at you. Are you Susie Cochran? Uh, how, how'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. Susie scows barely mutters into her whiskey. I saw it happen, saw the whole damn thing, couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. Cows, right. I don't know what these things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Ma and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well... Before they came home. Pa didn't make it. Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs and said and she left me to the police when she passed. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch and they attacked. A couple days ago. Happened so fast I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes just like that. What'd you do? I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. And I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just, I ain't want to talk about it no more. What will you do now? Uh, head west. I suppose nothing keeping me here and no desire to stay. I can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got. Where is it? Uh, left out of the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go grab it. All right. Let's go grab this, uh... Let's go grab this thing for her. Uh, new. The Cochran Ranch. Now, she said there were cows here. And I don't know why cows are so horrifying in this universe. Susie's ranch house is burned to the ground. Oh my god. This used to be a... Someone's behind this door making some pretty awful noises. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm going to take a peek around outside before I do that. That house is the only thing left standing.
Oh, once more, dear friends, through the portal. Hello? Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing the knife. Grab it. A varmint skin and knife. These pies were not safe. No, not the pies. Oh, buddy. Are you a cow? This thing looks angry. You're not going to make it to the safe without dealing with it. All right. Well, then let's get to dealing with it, shall we? Uh, snake. Take it. That's fire damage. Uh-oh. Uh, shoot it. Get him, snake! Yeah. You defeated that nasty cow skull floating in that cloud of flames. You're a crack shot. You can bullseye a bullseye at 300 paces. You can shoot a fish in a barrel even if the fish is really small and the barrel is really big. Oh, cool. Gun safe. Grab Susie's rifle. She just looks like a normal cow to me. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else in here? Now, I was really hoping that I was going to get lucky and find, like, something that was going to let me get needles or something like that. Ow. But it does not appear that I'm that lucky. Alright. Map. Back to the town. <laughs> God, I love these walk cycles. Hey. Find my rifle? Yep, yep, here she is. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch a name. I'm Gertais. Thanks, Gertais. Can't really say what this means to me. Sucks a rifle for a long moment, picks it back up, and she says, Well, that's enough wall members. Are you time for me to hit the road? If you want me to tag along when you head west, just say the word. Sounds good. Uh, hi. I have more mugs for you. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well, then, mission accomplished, I reckon. Alright, well. Excuse me. Uh, okay, so all that was left was the mine. Press the plunger. You press the plunger, nothing happens because you forgot to hook up a blasting cap. Right. We don't have a crowbar still. Uh... I ain't got a needle to open the crowbar. Looks like there's just crates. Um, hmm. How the heck do we get a needle? Oh, hold on, I'm just having a thought. I don't think I fully explored this place when we came here. I want to double check through it real quick. Because maybe if we can find a, like, newspaper or something, we can give it to Cactus Man. All right, never mind. I was say we, we could have given it to the uh, Cactus Man and maybe have gotten... No, it doesn't look like that. Uh, actually, do we have... We don't have anything interesting really to sell to them. I'm wondering what those cufflinks are for as well. Nurse brand whiskey. Hold on. Is that going to let me... Hold up. Hold up. Wait, I have whiskey. Do I have anything for you? Not yet. Okay. Hmm. That's the wrong building. Alright, well, I suppose we go fight the goblin. Oh, pile of old newspapers. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, things is happening. Eh, 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 eh. 
Hello, Mr. Cactus Man. Uh, newspaper. Give him the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know my shovel. I left it behind the outpost of the Orwell Mine. If you go there and get it, I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Thank you. Uh, behind the outhouse of the Orwell Mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that paper in my face before you leave. <laughs> okay. All right. Back to the mine. Oops. Not that way. Look behind the outhouse, we get a shovel. And with the shovel, we can go back to town. Once we're back in town. We can dig this up. And we get a mug. I wonder if this is the last mug. I'm kinda curious. Hey. I found a mug. Alright, now I want to go check all the other places. Wait, can I go and dig up a bunch of graves? <laughs> I can! Alright, time to fight skeletons. Eh. Get him. Get him, steak. Get his ass. <gasps> oh my god, he does a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> we gotta shoot this man. <gasps> no, my snake friend! old snake friend. You put a stop to Captain Skeleton's unnatural animation. Yeehaw. Skill up. Deadeye 2. Alright, cool. Uh, I got old cavalry saber and you got the gold tooth. Neat. I suppose that'll be better than the varmint knife. Are there any more graves to dig up? Perhaps? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. I want to go and check all the maps now to see if there's stuff to dig up. Uh, Thousand Snakes Gulch. Anything? Ow. <laughs> Mostly scabs. You've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire s extra set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. <laughs> uh, okay, doesn't look like there's anything here. Alright, uh, bu 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 ranch. All the water in the trough boiled away. Okay. I was curious to see if there'd be. Alright. Last place to check. Still don't have foraging. God, I love the walk cycle so much. Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything new here. Alright, uh, back to town. Oh, hold on. Get rid of all the poop on the ground. All that stinky poop. You nasties. Because no one else will do it. Shovel that poo. Okay. I have Dr. Whiskey. Um. Still don't have either. Hmm. Gotta find soap somewhere. Alright. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is just go and murder that there goblin down in the basement. Hey, buddy.
kind of don't want to fight him yet. Because it's not like... I don't know. I feel like there's something to do with him. I want to do something with him. I want to do something with him. I want to do the other stuff as well first. Because I swear I remember seeing something with him in like one of the trailers. Like he was like a companion. Uh, glass and cap storage? Maybe I can use the shovel to pry it open. No. Where do I get a crowbar from? Hmm. Cut the cuff one, cut the shovel. Where would I get a crowbar from, I wonder? Because I can't do this without the crowbar. Maybe... Alright, maybe Goblin Boy has a crowbar. We can murder him for the crowbar. Let's give it a go. As much as I'd rather not. I ain't having much luck with anything else. So it's more better. You ain't got nothing from me, right? All right. All right. Well, let's go fight the goblins. See what happens. Oh wait, hold on. I also got a gold tooth. Are you gonna buy the gold tooth? Uh. Sell it. Why not? Sell it. Uh, listen, kid. All that stuff that I've been buying from you. You've been spending time underground, ain't you? Well, listen, old Pete's advice. You stay out of Orwell if you know what's good for you. There's stuff down there on the 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fellow who wants to keep his eyes if you're catching my meat. Not sure that I do, but thanks. Okay. Interesting. So there's something on the 40th level. Does that open up new stuff? Hold on. Let's go poke around. Level 40. Strange black chest. Open the chest. A wave of nausea hits you as you slide the heavy lid off the chest. Inside there's a hat. It looks evil. And not in an abstract way. It has eyes and they look like the eyes of a murderer. And has teeth which look like the teeth of an animal who's been a murderer. If animals understood the concept of murder. You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't be able to take it off and things will be much harder for you. It'll be as though your life is a game and the game's difficulty level is greatly increased if you catch my meaning. Ah, no thanks. <laughs> Alright. Hard mode. Understood. Ah, oh, examine the controls. Hmm. I still can't get the tools or the blasting cap. It's really annoying. Do it. Mm -mm. I'm bad at games, so I'm gonna not make it harder. I'm bad at Vigi games. Um, let's do. All right. Oh, this we fight goblin. Hello, friend. Fight. Uh. Sneak. Oh my god. Bang. Progress towards the next skill up. Gumption. Uh, the spores everywhere though. You hose them down with a can of fungicide. Head back upstairs. That's a shame. I was really thinking that they didn't even give me nothing. Hey, I murdered the goblin. Took care of the goblin. Thank you kindly. Stand up the feller. Okay. Huh. That didn't really get me anything either. Hmm. 
Hmm. He's wanting to play games in his dad's basement. <laughs> I'm honestly tempted to like restart because of that, because I, I don't know. Seems like there was like an interaction with him. Uh, let's head back to the ore well. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's talk something. Oh, hmm. I thought it was going to be soap here. Heck. I am thoroughly lost as to what to do right now. Save scum, save scum, I'm tempted. I don't think there is, like, an actual save, because I don't think I have saved. Uh, anytime. Not that I noticed. Uh, about an injury. What'd you do with that? I see. Ah, okay. Hold on. I might actually restart the whole game to interact with that there goblin. Because maybe... I got whiskey. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Didn't know she makes house calls. All right, hold on. Ear rattle as she unlocks the door. Enter the house. Oh my god. Shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Not until you give me the whiskey you promised. Oh, here you go. Uh, Doc Alice looks to you be in her 50s. Her hair is gray and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp if bloodshot. Give it to her. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask. She takes out her pocket, then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc. That doesn't really seem healthy. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Sure, if you want. No, they're going to do you much good in the doom forsaken hell hole. Check out the books. Um, there it is. We just had to get to the lady. Heck. Do I want to... Do I want to just speed through everything? Redo it and speed through everything? Leaf through the life and works of Fred Ferguson. The Legends of Curly's Meat. A massive chest full of premium meat secret in this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking we stink it up a little bit. Kinda really wanna see what's up with that. I'm really curious about the goblin. Shh, don't tell no one chat, alright? Get soap also? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, snake oiler. Yeah. Okay, do everything exactly the way we've done it. Get the walking stupid. Read it. Very good. Hello, Mr. Bird. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. Come the hair. Uh, just want to look through to see if there's any more. Got the puzzle cube. Present, uh, the one about lockpicking. Thank you. Thanks, Papa. Uh, give him his puzzle, say goodbye to help people. 
I'll be okay. Missy Rufus. Skip to opening. I'm sure it was spectacular. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Alrighty. So, we've got to... One. Uh, Co orphans go. God, I love that one so much. Uh, talk to Cactus Man. Howdy, Cactus Man. What happened to you? And that's why they call you Bill. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, but. Okay. I'll also read some of the books in Doc Alice's place. Oh, yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, gotta go back in here. Check out the box. Grab it. Alright, keep that in mind. Hey, you. Uh, don't know what that is. How's it working out for you? Uh, hello. I uh, don't have any meat yet. Railroad, dirt water, errands. Hello, goblin. I'll take care of it. I actually need to sneak down there to get two things for quests. Grab this. Grab that. Can we head back upstairs? Later, Pete. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's just uh, quickly go through this. Let's get the filthy ring. That one so much. How's business? It's rough. Maybe I can help. All right. Good, 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 good. Oops, walked into that. Didn't mean to. Uh, sheriff, so we can get a gun. Hello. Uh, take this mug. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, hold on. Wonder if I go back to Horseman. Hello, I have a question. Uh, said something about an injury. Why'd she do that? I see. Okay. Now, let's go back to her place. Get that. Get the cactus men. Go get them horses. Offer whiskey. Nurse whiskey. Uh, enter the house. Hello. Give it to her. Jeez, dog. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Goblinoid. Start flipping through the Goblinoid language book. It's confusing at first, but eventually you get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several several, several blurfs have, pos, have passed, and you know... And you also know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. You have learned to speak goblin, sort of. Legend of Curly's Meat. This book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat secreted in the hidden sense, not the extruded sense, uh, in the western desert by an old cow hand named Curly Butterfield. Uh, the, this book's purports to be a Civil War surgeon's autobiography by flipping through it. You mostly f just find lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually a work of a ludicrous speculative fiction. At least there are some useful appendices in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Okay. The stove is spotless. Either she really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Oops. This vanity doesn't this vein doesn't look like it's seen much use preen a little. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, you. Uh, newspaper. Thank you. Alright, let's head to the Orwell Mine first. Dig through it, get some meat. Oh, wait, hold on. Grab that. Uh, get that ore. Uh, no, leave the elevator alone. Because I want that. Then with 
that and we'll go back to the town. Grab the turnip. Show some horse poo. To level our what done skills up a wee bit. Take that up, get the mug. Uh, let's go to Thousand Yards Gulch, because that's the first place we went to fight stuff. Hello, Mr. Snake. Fight. I'm curious, how much does this actually do? Oh my god, that does a lot of damage, actually. Uh. Hey. Fight. Uh-oh. You son of a bitch. Snake whip. Uh oh. Okay, I think Snake Friend is better at the moment, anyways. Um, let us pop this open. Get venom. Get medicine. Close the briefcase. Uh oh. Stake friend, deploy. God, you do a lot of damage. How much HP do I have left? I have 16. I can take one more hit. Let's get some damage in on this son of a bitch. Cutting it a little close. Cutting it a wee bit close. Oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna walk into cactus until I get that uh, thing back. This is kind of funny, actually. I don't know how many times I had to. There we go. Hello, Mr. Crazy Horse. Look him in the ass. Pat his nose. Give him the oats. Cool. Uh, Boren Springs Graveyard. Pick up the mug. Dig the man up. Does this actually work on a skeleton? I wonder. Uh-oh. It does not. That's bad. Yeesh, you do a lot of damage. Okay, good to know, though. Hey. Hey, pal. Uh, snake friend. Go get him. If you just died from cactus. <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, it would be pretty amusing. Alright, skeleton got. Yeehaw. Mysticality got up. Hello, Mr. Ghost Horse. And uh, pat her on the nose. Feed the oats. Try the oats again. Add some dirt grave. Bizarre. Uh, Alright, let's head to the Fricker Gang hideout. This time. Uh, wake him up. Walk away, Thub. What does this do? All honorable options will sometimes be available in situations. Neat. Finders keepers, silver cufflinks, mug, and meat. All right, same stuff. Same stuff as before. Now I wonder. Oh, hey, hey, pasta soup, neat. <laughs> Dig a pirate grave. No, I got it. Because I got the, uh, the knife. I got his knife. Alright. Uh, approach them and talk. Uh, you're under arrest. A horn swoggling too. Hmm. How would I get horn swoggling too? Uh, unseen methods. <laughs> oh. Alright. Oh, that was rude. 
Okay. Uh, now I'm really curious about that horn swaggling. Town of Boring Springs. Slide on my stomach. Go into the bar. Let's go talk to that goblin. Goblin shouts, I'm Gary! Uh, hi, Gary. Hi, hello. <laughs> hi, hi, hello. Hello, I am Gary. Who are you? Uh, introduce myself. Well, I'm Gerteus. Hello, hello, Gerteus. Good to meet you. What's Gerteus doing down here? Uh, be honest. Well, Gary, to be honest, the bartender sent me down here to, uh, to kill you. Hey, what? That's being a terrible idea. Bartender not being good idea, man. Gary wants to be popping, but not here. Too close, too close to home. Gary wants to be popping far up and high away. New Gary everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Uh, goblins are freaking weird. Settle down, Gary. Gary doesn't like to settle. Gary wants to travel and pop, and if Gertay is going far up high away, maybe taking Gary with you, eh? I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll be back. Kinda wanna take him as a companion. I got this. Uh, can I play? I have the meat. A uh, bit crazily. Horn swoggle. Walk away. Neat. Uh, howdy. I got soap for a lock. Hmm. Is there anything that I missed in here? Everything right? Depends on how fast I can get away from get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out, and I can't talk and drink at the same time. So what? Uh, I mean, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cat, and ye ask me what's the matter? Bandits, cow demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one, and I'll drink to that. If you haven't seen it, corpses and skeletons staggering around like puppets with half of their strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living. Oh yeah, the skeletons in the cemetery. It's good to get some outside confirmation that I'm losing, losing my goddamn mind. How's that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients? Oh, ouch. Uh, turns away. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterwards looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough, buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husbands. Um, indeed. Hmm. Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor, rumor. It's when you get complete information from an un... <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that the fella out west that's causing it is a necromancer, they call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? I never heard of any bean slingers raising the dead, have you? That'd be one hell of a can of beans. Uh, assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. You, because I know you ain't talking to me. Yeah, maybe not. Actually, what happens if I say... Uh, a gray-haired old woman that knows as much about fighting as a squirrel knows surgery? Did you hit your head on a bar stool? You aren't that old. Uh, stares at you. Beats doing nothing anyways. Doesn't have to be by yourself. weird um okay <laughs> i do love that I, that's just an option stupid walking okay i didn't notice that before when i went to turn on stupid walking but there is a colorblind mode <laughs> Uh, right, I need to go talk to her now. Oh, hold on, I didn't actually look at the graves. Uh, graves. Dude. I didn't actually see her family's graves. Uh, and then we go back to town. Now we talk to, oh, come on. 
but I saw the graves. Hello. Found. Oh, there we go. I uh, found these mugs for you. Thank you. Just thought I'd say howdy. Take your leave. Hello. Uh, Susie Conkern. Saw the graves. Bartender. Go on. Alright, let's go grab that there. Let's go grab that there rifle for her. Grab the varmint knife. Alright, let's shoot fire cow. Uh, snake. God, the sound it makes. Alright, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Grab the gun, Susie's rifle acquired. Let's head back to town. Hello. Alright. Um, hey buddy. So that's still, despite everything, that still has not gotten me any closer to getting into the mines. Uh, alright. Well, I guess we go fight the Fricker gang now. Some talk uh, here for the sheriff's store. All right, let's fight. Uh oh, I didn't shoot him. I wanted to kill him. Yep, that's why I wanted to kill him. Moxa level three. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Alrighty. This time we actually got the uh, lock for the sheriff. <coughs> Back to the. Howdy, sheriff. Yeah, one or two asleep, which you need. Just so happen to have one. I don't know, nicely. Hellfire. Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. Got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. Damn it. I still need a needle. How the hell am I supposed to get a needle? Hmm. I actually don't know where I'm going to get a needle from. Because he doesn't sell needles. He just sells the dynamite and dickerin. Is this Red Dead Redemption 2? Might as well be. Oh, chunk of wood on the broken hitching post. Grab it. Got a broken board. What the hell am I going to do with that? Oh, it's just a weapon. Okay. Uh... Any time, not that I noticed. Just browsing. Hmm. I wonder if I could buy a horse and then come back and save the other horse? Maybe? Because I'm not going to lie. Of all the horses that I care to get, Kinda want to get this horse. <laughs> uh, question: Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. I should warn you: horses get mighty attracted to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Give me that one with the crazy ass. 
Okay, I warn you, this horse seems a little... Stuff. But I'll sell them for a thousand meats. Something wrong with them? No, not as such. He's perfectly functional, but... Well, he's always sneaking off to Thousand Snakes Gulch to chew on the loco weed that grows there. And that makes him see crazy things. I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time, anyway. Color me intrigued. I'll take him. Uh... What would be a good name? What would be a good horse name? Be a good horse name for an insane horse. Alright, Von Winkle is the horse. Uh, free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, huh, neat. Just browsing, thanks. Oh, well. Uh, dig through it. Cool. Alright, so that's an easy way to get needles. I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh, Mr. Sheriff, I have a thing to... Pick. I think kind of stranger if Born Springs ever gets more chronos, I better watch out. It's a good job. Don't mention it. Replica Sheriff's Badge. Please tell me I can wear that. I do. It gives me armor. Alright, cool. Uh, or well, mine. Uh, level 3. Pick the lock, get the crowbar. Level one. I didn't even think to check the haystacks. That's okay though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, quite happy to have the uh, insane horse. Blasting cap acquired. Let's go grab the plunger. Got the detonate plunger. Uh, hook up. Pre press the button. Oh. Ah, the blasting cap. All right, what's down in the mind? <laughs> Meat. Ooh, something big up as well. Silver nugget. Hey, buddy. Cheated and looked at him. <laughs> hey there, girls. Okay, I'm afraid. I'm a friend. Winnie, a little horse shies away from you, though in this case it's more like a crippling introvert. It's away from you. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought you some oats for you. They aren't poisoned or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Pat her on the nose. Let's reach out to pat her on the nose. Horse ducks and steps further back into the shadow. Feed her the oats. Slides away from where makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine. Okay, see. So take a handful from the bag and toss some in your mouth. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily and re-enters with a cheerful wave. See, perfectly fine. Feed her the oats. Pat on the nose. Then feed her the oats. The horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. Turn around to look, but you don't see anything. When you turn back around, she's gone. <laughs> God damn it. An introverted horse. All right, let's go back to town. Let's go collect our reward for the horse. Hello. Sure thing. That's all we can take. No, here's a little extra. Thanks. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Just browsing. Thanks. 
All right. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking introverted horse. Hey. Oh. I said, well, I got the horse and I'm ready to go now. Uh, once you leave Born Springs, you want to be able to come back. Any unfinished business you have will remain unfinished. You're sure you're ready to leave? On second thought, do I? How do I collect companion? How do I collect a goblin to tell him to come with me? Maybe. All right. I'm gonna be real mad if the game's like. <laughs> doesn't let me like pick the character I want yes who will you take with you uh b -b 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 Gary the goblin you head back to the saloon basement and smuggle Gary out under your coat hit the trail oh one last thing before you go up to this point I've been automatically spending your experience points for you I'm happy to keep doing it and I promise to give it to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you prefer to decide for yourself where your XP is spent? You can always change this later on. Uh, spend it manually. Okay, you know how the option to turn yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. <laughs> Open your character screen when you want to spend XP. It consult the southeast west map the hostler gave you. It lists two things the town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Rail Company's westernmost camp. Alright, head for Dirtwater. Oh my god, what happened to you? Von Winkle whinnies as you approach. Come as main. Even we. She looks so angry. Wait. Oh, I see. Because <laughs> this was added as a dumb joke at the last minute. That's kind of great. Oh, hi, Gary. It's your partner. Hey there, Gary. Want more goblins meeting? Gary is heading about goblins in Old Fort nearby. Okay. What do you think we should do next? Uh, west to going fast. Okay, a big iron snake to finding, so fast talking us. A big iron, you mean the train? Yes, asking the trains, man. Okie dokie. Uh, so I assume I've go into that and I click that. Hello. Howdy. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, I'm Gertaeus. Glad to know you, Gertaeus. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Uh, saw this sign out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house and plenty of room for your pardon, too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a was a banker fella and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits he seemed like a decent sort so the room's yours if you want it well great awesome uh hey lloyd uh need help with anything well if you're handy with medicines tap stuff something's gone wrong when with our player piano <laughs> thought the music sounded a little off yeah it's not supposed to sound like that all right i'll see what i can do Thanks, I poked around in him myself. <laughs> this is taking a strange turn. These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Hello. They were engrossed in conversation, leave them be. Oh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait because I'm really curious about that spittoon. The old man stares off into the distance, listen to the piano. He doesn't react to you at all. These guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which one of theirs is nicer. Hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? <laughs> Kitchen? Hey, what you doing back here? Boys only, bud. Oh, sorry, I was just looking... So you're the nosy type, huh? Well, I prefer adventuresome. 
as it happens, is something you can do for me. I'm out of salt pep, saltpeter. I need someone to go pick up some more saltpeter. And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? All right, all right. Where can I find it? Your best bet's a military camp. Because it used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one's in Fort Cowardice. They keep it in the little green jars. All right. Slop helper. <laughs> stage. Oh, release the stage. That's really eerie and I don't like it. Alright, well, he's gonna do nothing. Uh, there's a sign that says, See bartender for darts. Alright. You lift up the piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Oh, I need a needle. I'm gonna leave it be for now. Wait, what is this? Oh, poker room. The poster says, Rules of poker, followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Read one. A one-eyed jack beats four sixes. Any player caught with a pocket homicide, queen must discard 16 cards. Player with a pocket suicide, queen must immediately double their bet. Deuces are wild and jacks of spades are double wild. Any player holding a pair of threes must remove their hat. Three fours and three sevens of hearts count as Georgia flush. Threes are wild unless accompanied by a six of heart. Player holding the nine must immediately discard a king. Any player caught with a pocket five must immediately double their bet. And one handed king must be replaced with a pair of three diamonds. Oh. This table's full. Play poker. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Tess, and the player to your right is in the name is Jesse. Ante up. The dealer gives the deck a shuffle and then deals a hand of cards, glides across to you. It's a really terrible hand. A seven of spades. It's the first round. The pot is 60 in your estimate. Your chances of winning are around 20%. Glamorously strategize. Uh, the dealer uses... Blah, blah, blah. You arrange your cards into a more aesthetically pleasing spread. 20% chance to win. It's the second round of betting. The pot is 60 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around 40%. Forcefully raise. You place 20 meat on your bicep, and then flex, causing it to spring onto the table. It's the last round of betting. Time to time to do or die. The pot is 120 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning around 40%. Moxiously strategize. So last round of betting, time to do or die, the pause around 400. You range your cards in a more aesthetically pleasing spread, plus 20% chance to win. You grin and reveal your hand, a Canadian straight. Here's a Montana straight. <laughs> a full house, you win. <laughs> okay. Weird. <laughs> Canadian straight. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really, really tempted to touch the spittoon. If you are easily grossed out, I warn you, you may want to look out for a little bit until I'm done with the spittoon. This is a spittoon, which is sort of a brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor, because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko inspect it look the jewel saloon is a pretty nice as saloons go actual glass in the windows more than two kinds of drinks a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit but the spittoon is still a spittoon the rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit inspect here we go again all right fine you're now hunkered down next to a 
next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the deep the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad, because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and filth that doesn't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette buds into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something that's the color and viscosity of maple syrup and sec... Except instead of maple, s maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Glorp. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figure, a useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. <laughs> and you hate them. Hooray! Spittoon. What does that do? Oops, not that. What does that actually do for me? You have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with the tobacco spit and you don't want it to spill out the little hole in the bottom. Melee attack and spell damage. Well, that's a shame. I don't do spell or melee. Guest rooms. Better not insult yourself anymore. You get any angrier, you're liable to pass out. Oh my god. Wait, I want to see. I want to see what that perk actually does. Nice view from up here. There's a postcard on the table. Take it. You got a blank postcard. Neat. Sleep. You go to sleep, you dream that you're making out with a goblin in a canoe. After that, you head. your head turns into a tree. You wake up quite refreshed. Yeah, it's done, KZ. And hungry and sober. Let's mosey. Day two. Hey, what's this? Oh wait, hold on. What's this other door lead to? Oh, it leads outside. Oh, ah, okay, cool. Dirt water mercantile. Dirt water post office. Jail. Hello. Buying some flowers. Sure. Sweet smelling flowers. Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. How far out does this go? <laughs> Not a lot available past this point. <laughs> Damn this game. Uh, the clerk clears his throat. How do you sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. I'll be a sheriff. Uh, do you have any law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you been to sheriff school? No. Do you have any existing relationship with Dirtwater local government? Are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? No. Then what, may I ask, in tarnation makes you think you're qualified to be a sheriff? I just assumed... You just assumed that you could mosey into town and become a sheriff on your first day? Well, when you put it that way... If I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wandered in here thinking they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap an eye I wouldn't need this dead-eyed clerking job. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, happens all the time. Uh, need any help until you can find a new sheriff? Sure, if you're good, any good with a the gun, there's always a chance somebody in need of justice. Wanted posters are back there, cells are over yonder. Alright, cool. Uh, I think... <laughs> now that we've been cut loose, I think I will call it there for today. I kinda... I kinda really like this game so far. It's kinda really fucking funny. So, uh, yeah. 
Thank you guys all so much for coming in and hanging out. I truly do appreciate it. If you're new to the stream, you like what you saw, please follow along. It helps me out immensely. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic night. And remember, look out for them there cows. They're back home after all. Take care, chat. Mwah.